Hey, 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 guys, it's Old Man G here, back again with another video for Red Devil Studio. And today we're going to talk about David De Gea and Jan Oblak. Um, now, the reality is, um, the reality is, is that David De Gea has yet to sign a contract extension with Manchester United. Okay, David De Gea's contract expires this coming summer 2020. And come January, he is free to negotiate with anybody. And it's rumoured that Juventus are interested in poaching David De Gea. Um, so the reality is that David De Gea is essentially, is, a, is essentially a free agent now, I would argue. Um, because come the summer, he can go to anyone. His contract expires, it's over. Um, Manchester United have reportedly... Um, offered him a £350,000 per week contract. And according to Sun Sport, as well as a couple of other UK outlets, now let me frank, this is the it's the Sun Sport. Sun Sport um, is quite dubious when it comes to viability. Um, so as well as the Express and, and, what, and what have you. So, you know, I'd still take this with a pinch of salt. But the only thing I would say is that David Hay has yet to sign the contract. You know, we have yet to hear anything. There was a build-up. There was a sort of, a, okay, they're going to announce a contract when we start the season. That hasn't happened. So the impression I get from tonight is that the reality is, is that we are far from um, signing, David Hay is far from signing a contract with Manchester United. And so this is why we talk about a guy on the left, Juan Oblak, um, who is apparently rumoured to be signing, at least Manchester United appear to be going for Wano Black in the in the January transfer window as a replacement for this in quote contract rebel um, David De Gea, um, and essentially, you know, they, they they report they claim that Juventus are the front runners to sign, and it wouldn't surprise me to be honest because Juventus have this sort of have this sort of uh, um, you know they got Danny Alves, Perlo, you know Paul Pogba, Anjin Rabro, and 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 Ramsey, you know five of those players obviously. Perlo's not with them anymore, Danny Alves isn't with them anymore, Pog Pog isn't, obviously. But the point I'm trying to make is that Juventus got all those players for free, for nothing. They just buy their time, they waited. And I think David Ahir could essentially be one of the greatest coups of all time if they were to do that. But it's possible they could. So the, the reports are suggesting that Oblak would be the first choice of placement. Obviously, Oblak, he's Slovenian, he's 26, he's currently Atleti since 2014. Um... His stats are really impressive. He's had 156 La Liga appearances. He's only conceded 96 goals. He's kept 90 clean sheets. Um, he's made 385 saves at a percentage of 79.8. David De Gea obviously was an excellent Leti man as well. You know, so the business on that is there. The reality, I think, is just how much um, Jan Oblek will actually cost for Manchester United. But... According to these reports from Sun Sports and from Express, again, dubious, I know, but Wano Black would be a first choice of play for um, David Haye should he leave. And it's a, there's a quite a high possibility, guys. And let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what you think. Um, do you think David Haye will sign a contract with Manchester United? Because as I'm looking at the state of Manchester Football Club right now, um, I don't think he will. We not we not look like we're going to be winning any major trophies anytime soon. No major uh, league titles, no major Champions League titles. So if David Ayer comes towards the end of his career, potentially, he will want to move to a team um, where they will at very least be winning or competing for titles. So I don't blame him from that point of view. What I would say, though, is the other argument is, do you guys still think David Ayer is good enough um, at the highest level? Because we've seen in recent games, especially against um, Crystal Palace and earlier last season that he made quite a few big mistakes. So do you think that even David Hayer, maybe one or black is, is an, an improvement over David De Gea, depending on, on last year, year and a bit, I would say. Um, his form, David De Gea's form, has, has gone down and I think he needs to step step up, certainly this season, um, if he if he's truly going to remain a world-class keeper. Um, so let me get what you think, guys. Thanks again for listening to everyone. Um, please follow us on uh, Twitter, We Unite X. Please subscribe to this channel um, uh, for, for Red Devil Studio, obviously. Like that button, share and subscribe and smash that notification button to get up to date with the latest videos. We are almost at 1,000 subscribers, guys. We're 940 subs. Really appreciate the ongoing support. Thank you so much for listening. And please let us know what we can do to improve. I'd really, really appreciate 
as much help as I could get. <laughs> Thanks for listening, guys, and cheers.